Okay, uh, so welcome to today's lab. So today we will try to get familiar with the if statement. Uh, so if statement is a very important in Python, and it is very it's an important way that we can control the, we can do the flow control in Python. Okay, so first let's make sure that we uh, update our local repository, and let's create a new file. So I will go call it lab5.py and I will add a regional comments so lab5 if statement all right so now let's uh, start our uh, questions so the first question is imagine that uh, we need and we're going to design a game where we're going to define a variable called alien color which equals, so you can give it any color, uh, like green, yellow, or red. So let's, I'm going to give it green. And the next, you need to write an if statement to test whether the alien's color is green or not. So if it is green, uh, you need to print a message saying that the player just earned five points. Okay, so uh, you can pause the video here and also think about how you are going to do that. All right, so here, this is my solution. So I just simply say if alien color equals, so they, they should be double equation mark, green, and also colon. And now if I hit enter, so you can see they will automatically add this indentation. Um, because this is an if statement. So I say print and you just earned five points. Okay, so this is my solution. So now if I run it, you can see I just earned five points. And if I change the color to red, okay, you can see nothing happened because if that alien color is red, and this if this condition will be is false is false and the this one this line will not be executed all right so that's uh, pretty simple so let's go to 3.2 so in 3.2 so we will use an if else statement so we are doing the similar judgment however so if the alien's color is not green we will print another statement saying that you just earned 10 points. Okay, so if the color is green, you learn you earned five points. And if the color is not green, you will earn 10 points. Okay, so I'm going to copy the code here. And so I just provide my solution. So my solution will be else. And for else, you don't need to type any judgment. Print. Okay, so you just earned 10 points. All right, so let me, let's try it. Okay, so here you can see because the color is red, uh, so that I earned 10 points. So if I put that color to green, you can see I have earned five points. And if I put that one to yellow, and I have earned 10 points. All right, uh, so that is 3.2. So if else statement. Okay, and for 3.3, .3, so we are going to create a list that contains three of your uh, favorite fruits, and also we are going to call it uh, favorite fruits. So let's define favorite fruits equals. So here you are going to type three of your uh, the fruit that you like. So mine is apple, banana, and orange. Okay, so just those three fruits. And now you need to write three separate if statements. And each will check whether or not a certain kind of fruit is in your list. 
So if that fruit is in your list, and the if block should print a statement saying that you really like that type of fruit. OK, uh, so you can pause the video here and also think about that, how you're going to um, uh, do that if statement. All right, so you don't need to think that too complicated. So for example, this is my solution. So if so, let's say that orange. OK, in this favorite fruit. OK, I will print you really like orange. OK, uh, so let's try it. OK, so this 10 points is from 3.2 and also in 3.3, .3 you can see you really like orange. And uh, you can write three, two more, uh, those if statement. So in this case, you can see, let's see for this one, I will use grips and you really like grips. And for this one, I will use Mongo, not that Mongo. MongoDB, okay, Mongo, okay. Uh, so here you can see we will use in operator to check whether or not an item is in this list. So if this item is in that list, we will execute this line. Otherwise, we'll go to next. So otherwise, this if statement will be finished. And this will be a separate if statement. So it will check whether or not this item is in the list. If yes, it will print that one. Otherwise, um, this line will be skipped. And next, Python will ask, will make judgment, see whether or not this item is in that list. If yes, it will print this one. Otherwise, it will skip. So now let's run it. OK, so you can see that I do have orange, so that you really like orange. OK, and if you change your uh, fruit list okay and now let's see what will happen okay so you can see you, you really like orange and also you really like grapes okay uh, so this is also another very simple one so uh, just let you know that okay so we can uh, use multiple if statement uh, in one Python code all right so our last one, uh, the question will be a little bit longer. So I'm just going to read this one from this text, uh, from this instruction. So we are going to use if, l if, else chain, so that can determine a person's stage of the life. Um, so we are set a value for variable age, and then we will make those judgments. So if the person is less than 10, we'll print a message that this person is a kid. And if the person is at least 10 years old, but less than 20, we'll print message that the person is a teenager. If the person is at least 20 years old, we'll print um, a message that this person is an adult. And also, if the person is above uh, 65, so we'll print one more message that this person is elder. OK, uh, so this this question is a little bit more complicated than uh, the other three uh, than the other three questions. Uh, so uh, take a few minutes. So think about that, how you want to implement this if else if chain. OK, so let's start. So this is three point uh, four. So first, let's define an age variable, OK? Um, equals, so let's just use a random number, OK, 23. OK, uh, so you may want to, from the first judgment, so let's say if age is um, less than 10, OK, you want print, OK, so you are 
or a kid. Okay, L L if age. Okay, so now in if we run into this one, so that means age is definitely great than ten. So L if age is um, less than twenty. We can print. Okay, you are a teenager. Okay, L if age is uh, and find you miss okay else print you are an adult okay so this may be your initial idea of uh, finishing this question so but now you have a problem because here we want another if judgment. So if age is greater than 62, we want print you are you are an elder. Okay, so let's see if are there any problems, issues? So let's run it. Okay, 23, okay, that worked. Okay, adult and elder, that worked. Okay, you, you are a teenager, that worked. You are a kid, okay, that also worked. And it looks like so it's really working. So can you do it in a different order? So for example, can you make the judgment for adult first and the next for the teenager and also finally for the kid? Okay. Uh, so yeah, think about that one. Uh, so here I'm going to try to make judgments see if that is an adult first. So I could see if age is great or equal than 20 and I will print okay so you are an adult and also we also if age is great than 62 I will print additional message you are an elder and next I will say L if Okay, so you can pause the video here and also think about that, how you're going to write this condition. Okay, so I could say, okay, L is if age is, so now we are looking for the teenager. So teenager is less than 20, but great than 10. I'll print, you are a teenager. And finally, else print you put that into a string you are a kid okay so now let's try use different values so 67 that is right this is an adult that is right adult that is correct Teenager, that is correct. And kid, that also is correct. So there are multiple ways that to answer this question. And uh, you can choose the one that you feel the most comfortable with. Or you can even choose a different solution. So, it, so there are multiple ways that you can answer this question. All right. So finally, let's upload everything to GitHub. So git at all commit dash m lab five. All right, so let's check it on GitHub. And okay, so that's it.